morning. We have a blizzard today and the farm doesn't rest so I can't exactly stay cooped up inside. I've got to get out, feed things, refresh water. So this is going to be Farm Chores Blizzard Edition. Chickens really do hate walking around in the snow, but they'll make their way out here for food. Won't ya? Huh? You coming out? Hey guys! Gonna take this and refill it. It is really awesome to have electricity in the chicken coop. It allows us to plug in things like this so that they have fresh water for longer. Animals that don't have that luxury, like some of our rabbits that are out in the tractors, we do refill their fresh water twice a day. of quail and a few chickens in the brooder right now and because of their heat lamp their water is staying liquid so that's good. in here. Unfortunately, I got a bad spot on it before I could get to preserving it. And then we had a whole bunch of banana peels, apple cores, that kind of thing. And we also had a couple bags of rabbit feed get wet. And the potential for mold on that is too risky for my rabbit. So all of that food that would have been waste, thankfully is able to go to the pigs. So it's not a total loss. I love having pigs on the farm. See what the inside of the greenhouse looks like. It's 34 degrees in here. It's not freezing. <laughs> So that's something I've noticed, that it's been about 10 degrees warmer in the greenhouse versus the outside air temperature, even with no sunlight coming in. I think the snow insulation really helps. Clearly it's warmer in here, look at my glasses. <laughs> well, hello, sir.
really important for me to keep the entrances clear. On my beehives, I only have the one entrance, so keeping that clear is something I have to think about in weather like this. <laughs> Finley's developed this bad habit of basically sitting on the milk pail. Uh, so I'm working with her. If I put her hooves in the hobbles like I do for Margot and Rory, she is a lot less comfortable. So this is what we do. I milk until she sits. I'm still hanging on to her. Then I'll let go with one hand. Ah! That was close. I'll let go with one hand and she'll stand up. I've still got the other hand on her and then I can resume. Svenly and Margo, this goat and the goat previously, just gave birth a little less, a little more than a week ago. And uh, this is what they are milking with babies still on. So I'm not getting a whole lot right now, but we're getting used to the routine of milking again and we're keeping the milk supply up. When the babies turn two weeks old, I'll separate them at night for a full 12 hours with some hay, with some water. And then we'll be able to milk mamas in the morning and reunite the babies all day with mom. It's called kid sharing. And it's my favorite way to milk my goats. blow over coming into the barn which is quite unusual and I wouldn't have expected it from this direction this is our south facing wall and obviously there's no door on it so we're getting a lot of snow coming on in but the goats also have access to this side of the barn this is the kidding stall area it's nice and cozy over here there's no one hanging out on this side right now because food is out but there's two heat lamps on nice warm and dry tucked right in the center of the barn Keep it warm. Yeah. And they've got access to that heat lamp and they're not using it, so I guess they don't need it. Look at these cute babies all snuggled up. Quite a few of our rabbit cages have heated bowls or heated water bottles like this. They don't all, so I will have to come back down here later and replenish the ones that aren't heated. But the heated ones are real cool. Let me show you how they work. So it's plugged in and the base here stays just warm enough to keep the nipple and the water inside from freezing. I love the heated water bottles, but I don't have all of them set up like that, so it's bowls for everyone else.
goats have a tank heater put in their water here, so their water is always liquid as well. Look at Odie. Odious. Odious, you're so fluffy. Hi, you little cold. Go under the heat lamp, boo. You're so fluffy. So I'm actually down to two bales of hay in the barn and we obviously can't get out on the roads today to get more. Normally this is what I feed my goats after they have their grain, but today my pigs actually need it as bedding. I didn't expect as much blow around as we've gotten from our wintry precipitation and they need a bed refresher. It's important that the pigs stay warm for sure. better. Yeah. Here, come check out your water. Come here. Look, Bobo. Look. What's this? Can't eat my kids. No. Look. <laughs> He's trying. Look, Bubba. Look. What's this? There, this makes me feel a lot better. The pigs weigh so much and the ground has been saturated with so much rain before this wintry precipitation came in. There was a lot of rain and you don't really want damp cold bedding ever for your animals. I do have an alternate hay source for my goats and I'm going to go give them that right now. That's it for me for now. I've gotta come back out later and refresh some of those bowls that aren't heated. But for now, I wanna get inside and I'll warm up these fingers. If this chilled you to the bone like it did me, I'm gonna link a summer garden tour right here and that should warm you up.